Hi, Hardy. If your friend is just getting started with SOLIDWORKS, the first thing I would do, uh, this is the first thing I do anytime I create a new installation of SOLIDWORKS, is pin open the pull down menu. The reason for this is there's quite a few useful tools within both the insert pull down and the tools pull down. And if a new user is getting started, they can get the false sense that the only tools available are what are in the command manager by default. So I'll just point out that, for example, with the features tab, there are still quite a few features. For example, the wrap, flex, or split tools aren't included by default in the feature tab. I would also point out that they can customize the command manager by right clicking and going to customize and then they can drag in any commands that they want. For example, if I use the freeform tool quite frequently, I can drag and drop that in. I would also point out that you can right click in on any command manager tab and remove or add tabs. I would also show him the S shortcut bar just by pressing S in the workspace. It'll bring up your shortcut bar. And then I would customize this to add in any commands that he uses really frequently. For example, by default, the sketch command isn't included within this shortcut bar. It's only the top six tools there. So if there are any other tools he wants to add, such as the sketch pull down or the save or new document, for example, you can just drag those in. And I would also point out that this shortcut bar is different within parts, assemblies, and drawings, and it's also different within the sketch. So if he wants any sketch commands that aren't included by default, he can add those in as well, once again, by right-clicking and going into the Customize. And since he's a new user, I would suggest that he go through the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. Uh, when I first started out, I found them pretty helpful, and I think they cover quite a few topics that your friend would be interested in. I would look through the tutorial set 1 and 2, especially get them to do these first 5 or 6 as they cover the basics of SOLIDWORKS, and then any of the other tutorials that look useful for him, I would suggest that he do. Aside from that, the last thing I would show them is the contact sensitivity of SOLIDWORKS. For example, have them click on the plane here in the feature manager and take a look at the toolbar that comes up or have them click on any of the features and take a look at the options. As well as clicking on an edge, for example, or the face to also see what tools or what commands come up. I think overall that's where I would get your friend started. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful and let me know if you have any other questions.